I'm going to be sharing with you all of the mockups that I've downloaded. I wanted to share with the community. So stick with me until the end and then you'll get the link. Um, let's jump in and do this. The logo we're going to be creating is going to be from a blank canvas. So you're just going to search for logo and then you're going to look for beautiful lettering and then you're going to create an amazing looking logo. We're going to go to elements and we're going to search for J. And we're going to go to graphics and search for a gorgeous looking J that we can use for her design. This looks kind of nice. So as soon as you add a graphic, then you get magic recommendations, which would give you additional letters that follow the same kind of um, element that you've chosen. So she, her business is JC. We're going to look for a C. And there we go. We found it. As easy as that, we're going to size it. Basically, that's how you do it. You're going to then download it as a transparent background. If you don't have the pro version, then you're more than welcome to use remove.bg. You're going to download it and then you're going to jump in on photo P and convert it. And th these are the mockups that I want to share with you. So we're going to go in on photo P. What I want to share with you is a folder that I've saved for all of my 3D mockups. So you're welcome to it. It's going to be on the description below. You're welcome to go use it. However, all of these mockups were downloaded from freepeak.com for free and blast.com for free. And there's a 365 mockup website that I also will link on the description below that you can additionally find more mockups that you can use. So once you've found a mockup, this particular one, we're going to go open from computer. And then we're going to use this 3D mockup that we've downloaded from this one. I think I've downloaded from unblast.com. So all you do once the mockup is open like this, you delete what they say, delete this, you double click where it says place your logo, and then you hide the text. You would then click and drag the logo, size it, put it in alignment, and then you're going to go file, save as smart object, and then you're going to click where it says 3D mockup once and you wait for the system to convert it into a beautiful, stunning, white background 3D logo that we've created. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that YouTube shares my videos with more people that we can help and build the community. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.